dear students today we are going to discuss about that lost topology it's a hybrid topology so already we completed it's a start from the bus topology ring topology star topology tree topology and mesh topology in this video we are going to discuss about the technical part of hybrid topology so hybrid topology is nothing but the combination of two or more topologies which is called as hybrid topology it can be anything so for example just i am going to combine star topology and tree topology I am, I am going, going to combine, combine ring topology, topology or star topology, or, topology. or I, am I am going, going to combine, combine bus topology, topology, ring topology, topology star topology. topology. That, that the, combination the combination of more than two or more topologies, topologies it is, is called as hybrid topology. topology. Now, Now So the next, the next question, question what's, what's the reason i have to combine that multiple topologies already we have that the different structure it has some, some different advantages and disadvantages in each topology next, next we may get a question if i am combined together if i am combined two or more topologies so what's the reason i have to combine and again create a big problem the and network the structure, structure it's, it's really, really complex, complex as, as well as to install that the, the network, network components, components and, and for the, the configuration, configuration and, and what, what we, we have to design, design the topology the it's a lot, lot of things, things. It, it will be, be more complex, complex in hybrid, hybrid topology, topology. But, but even, even though, though it's have some, some disadvantages, the hybrid, hybrid topology it's have some advantages. And so, so what are the things it's support by the hybrid, hybrid topology. topology? So in so this, this diagram, diagram, what I used is just, just I combined the bus, bus topology and tree topology. topology. So, so here, here this part. It's a start, start from, from PC 29, 32, 33, 34. This part is alone. It's considered as bus topology. And here I used one hub to connect with switch. And the hub is connected with the three PC. It's look like a tree structure. Or even if you are adding few more, uh, that is PC, it may be also considered as star topology. Right? Now. As, as well as, as what, what we are used the IP address, it's one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one two three four five six seven. That is one point seven. So you know very well how to set that IP address. Just you click on the PC and go to desktop, select IP configuration. Already I configured the static IP address. It's a one ninety two point one sixty eight point one point one. The default that is the subnet mask address is two fifty five point two fifty five point two fifty five point zero. So just you type IP address and the subnet mask it will come automatically. So the same way you got to set the IP address for remaining all the PCs. The cable what I used here. This uh, that, uh, that is, is a PC, PC to switch, switch and uh, switch, switch to switch, switch even, even it will be uh, that, that is considered as, as a, a copper stripe through. through. So, so this, this is the cable, cable. and, and here, here switch, switch to, to hub. hub. It's, it's used, used copper, copper crossover, crossover to connect the switch, switch and hub. hub. Here, here it's, it's coming, coming to the, to the hybrid topology. So, so what's, what's the first, the first step, step we have, have to take, take the advantages, advantages of hybrid topology? topology. So, the so the first, first advantage is in hybrid topology, 
it's more reliable so in the mesh topology itself we discussed the reliability here the hybrid topology is also consider as it's more reliable what it mean if any fault it happen any fault detection or the troubleshooting it's easy in the hybrid topology so is there any error or it's any fault detection or to troubleshoot that network structure we can do it easily in the hybrid topology so already the complex the structure of the uh that is network or the design of the uh, hybrid topology is really complex then how can we say that that fault detection is easy so the meaning is that so here different uh, that is a topology it's combined together and we created the hybrid topology so for example if you had any problem here we know that this portion it is called as bus topology here this part is called as a tree topology right so if any of the fault is happen definitely we can look at that the part and we can easily troubleshoot the problem we no need to check all the or remaining that network structure wherever you have that problem wherever you have that that the fault detection that, that portion, portion alone, alone we, we can, can troubleshoot, troubleshoot and, and rectify the errors and, and coming, coming to the the, the next the advantages, advantages of hybrid topology, topology. For, for example if you, if you want, want to increase or even if you want to decrease the new components, components. so for, for example here, here this is the that is the last diagram, diagram so, so i cannot, I cannot uh, move or to the, the uh, right, right side, side. For, for example if, if i want, want to add, add one more pc easily we can add, add that, that the component, component. If, if i want, want to add two, two more pc here, here the bottom, bottom of the portion, portion. we can, can easily I or, or we can, can easily remove any, any network, network components, components in the hybrid topology. topology. Now, Now what, what it mean? mean? It, it supports, supports the scalability. scalability. So, so scalable it mean that we can, can increase or we can decrease as per our, our wish. wish. That's, That's a scalable, scalable right? right? So, so if, if I, I want, want to add any new component or if i want to remove any component it's based on that the client requirement so for example here just i am going to remove this portion and i want to add that mesh topology yes you can do it so that's the part of hybrid topology now it's coming to the the problems in a hybrid topology so the so first the logic we can easily call it as the design so already it's supported that is reliable and scalable it's advantages of hybrid topology but it's coming to the uh, the disadvantages of hybrid topology so first thing we have to take the complexity, the complexity of, of the design, design. so in, in case, case for example, example think about that, that i am I going, going to combine all, all the five topologies just start, start from, from the, the bus, bus star ring, ring tree mesh if, if i am combining, combining all the topologies, topologies do you, you have, have that, that imagination how, how the diagram it look like it's really complex design and, and even, even it's, it's really complex, complex to understand, understand the structure, structure of the, the network, network. And, and so the so next, next thing, thing. already we have the complex network structure, network structure. again okay. if, if i, I want, want to send, send a message, message in that, that hybrid, hybrid topology, topology.
either the switch or hub it act as a intelligent device it's not as a intelligent intelligent device it's the most intelligent the way it how to communicate the message from source to destination what it mean for example if i am trying to send a message from pc 29 to 37 right now here this switch to switches and here the hub it take a decision so first decision it start from here and switch 7 it take a decision and they send the message to hub and hub transmit the message to pc 37 right if the switch 7 is not supposed to take the correct decision definitely we cannot reach the destination place so whatever data we are transmitting in that hybrid topology here the hub or switch it acts as a intelligent device to transmit the data over the network and it's coming to that just i am going to it's a two messages placed here i am going to add one more message yeah the pc29 it start transmitting the data and here switch 7 it will not send the data to either pc32 or switch 8 right here the switch 7 it take a decision and transmit the data to hub and hub it transmitting the data to all the pc so that's, so that's a problem, problem of the hub, hub. it's a hub it's, it's a simply distribute the data, data to all the the, the network, network components which is connected in the network, network. So, so the reason, the reason is, is switch it reads, reads the mac address, address of, of the pc, the PC. Hub, hub it will not read anything, anything. it's a simply it's distribute, distribute the data to all the that is the, uh, the, the, the pc which is connected with the hub okay but anyway we receive the acknowledgement Here, here right, right? So, so when, when we, we are designing hybrid, hybrid topology, topology that, that is switch and hub, hub what the connecting point or connecting device, device we are using the connecting device, device should be act as a intelligent way to transmit, transmit the data, data. If, if the switch, switch or hub, hub is not working properly it's, it's not, not take a decision correctly, correctly. Definitely, definitely it will be affect the entire network, network structure, structure. Right? right now, now coming, coming to the to next, next point so, so whatever, whatever uh, that, that is, is uh, number, number of topologies we are connecting or combined together, together definitely, definitely we need more number of cables, cables and, and we, have we have to spend, spend more amount to design, design that the network, network structure, structure. And, and it's, it's really, really hard, hard to troubleshoot, troubleshoot that the problems, problems. Right? right so, so whatever, whatever uh, we design, design it's, uh, it's uh, the, the troubleshooting, troubleshooting it's one of, one of the advantages in the hybrid topology, topology. But, but if anything, anything is mismatching here, here it's even it's one, one of the disadvantages, disadvantages in the hybrid topology, topology. So think, so think about, about that, that for example, example my, uh, uh, that, that is network, network structure is uh, 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 50 pc. PC. So, so 50 pc, PC I am, I am combined, combined for example 3 to 4 topologies. topologies. So, so if, if anything, anything mismatching, mismatching in that 50 pc, PC it's, it's really hard, hard to find the, the, the problem, problem in the, in the hybrid topology. topology. Just, just you work, work on, on the, the 
the way how hybrid topology is working and just you create your model to combine all the types of topology and you can understand in what way hybrid topology is working and we can easily get that better understanding about the advantages and disadvantages of hybrid topology and compare to the other different types right i hope this video is useful to you all thanks for watching